Hey, how's it going? This is video five of the free energy generator. Um, so as in this video, if you watch my other videos, I do have the alternator strapped down uh, now. Uh, there's the belt um, that I had on it. So, so I tried to run the generator and the alternator with the new one horse motor. Um, and something I didn't factor in that I'm not a, I guess, mechanical engineer by any means, um, is that it, although the inverter will run the one horse now with no problem, um, apparently the generator by itself and even the alternator by itself, cause that's a semi truck alternator, which is overkill, but I got a really good price on it. But um, both of them bogged down the, the electric motor even plugged into the grid. Um, so um, it will not run like that. <laughs> um, I did not expect that, but the good thing is the one horse will run, and I'll show you, will run on the, the inverter. So you can see there, it'll kick on here in a minute. So it's pulling 1131 watts, which is perfect, because that's a 3500 watt alternator. Um, so that does work, um, but the next thing I'm going to have to do uh, to get this working, so it's back to the, the drawing board here. You can see that's, that's the cord to the new motor. There's my two watt battery cables, the inverter battery. Battery is hooked up to the alternator. Uh, the idea was to recharge the battery as the inverter used the battery charge. Um, which, like I said, would work in theory, um, but I didn't realize how much the 10KW generator and the alternator by itself, um, once it starts generating electric, it really, really requires a lot of torque, apparently, to, uh, to turn those. I didn't realize that. So, um, what I'm going to have to do now, um, since at least the inverter and the motor are working, so I know that's good. Um, I'm going to have to um, try to find a 521 uh, gear reducer so I can strap that to the uh, directly to the faceplate of this. It's the 56C uh, one horse motor uh, here. So I can strap right to these holes, um, directly mount it to a gear reducer uh, and have that run a pulley uh, back to the the um, generator and with the generator I'm gonna have to get a different size pulley because it's gonna step down the speed to about 690 uh, rpm and so I'm gonna have to basically bump it back up using the large pulley on the gear reducer and a smaller pulley on the on the generator to uh, get everything to work again I at least want to get the one horse with a gear reducer for torque mainly for torque purposes that's really the only reason and it's really hard to find one with a 3600 RPM input. A lot, of, a lot of them are 1750 and then the output RPM is way too low, so I can't use that. Um, so they, they do have them out there. McMaster car has a right angle um, gear reducer that I could use for this project, but it, it's like six, $700. Uh, really can't get that until I start uh, getting more, possibly more subscribers to get more money to keep testing because this isn't, um, this isn't cheap by any means. If I were to buy all this stuff new, I'll probably already have over two grand in this cause that alter that generator's about 1300 new. The uh, alternator new is around 350 to 400 with that pulley on there. Um, the V belt pulley and then that motor was about 150, 160. And then that pulley is another, I got 200 rounds. So yeah, that's that's a that's video five. Um, again, I'm gonna have to buy a gear reducer. Um, did not plan on this generator causing that much torque, and that that makes sense as to why they say you need an 18 or 30 horse motor for certain size generators because you need the torque. Um, and really, there's no transmission in between. So, like a car, I mean, you're not that torque to get that torque that you need from the engine, you're gonna to have to have some type of um, 
gear system in between uh, to get what you want out of it. So that's where I'm at. And so, you know, it's going to take some time to get the money to, uh, to get that gear reducer as it's about six, $700 from McMaster that I actually need that is for that input, that input RPM. A lot of them are 1750 and I, that's 3,600. I really don't want to buy another motor cause that really drops my RPM down on the output shaft. So, um, yeah, I don't know if it all fell on this cart. I might have to get to do a different setup. Uh, this cart might have to go bye-bye uh, if everything doesn't fit. Uh, might have to do something with the alternator or figure out how to tie it back into the system. If I get the the gear reducer to work with the generator and it, it frees up the torque for the motor so it's not working as hard. Um, because, again, I plug it into the, the AC outlet on the wall and it bogs it down. And the other thing I thought about getting is as well as a variable frequency drive from 110 input from the inverter uh, and then have a VFD that has an output of 220 single phase to help bring down that amperage on that motor and have a little bit more torque. Um, so use that VFD as well, which that's not cheap either. That's about 200. So if all goes right, I'm probably gonna have another um, at least grand wrapped up in this project because uh, I have to buy that stuff new. I, it, it's hard, really hard to find what I need at five to one with the high input um, anywhere else used uh, exactly what I want. It's going to be needle in a haystack. So again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Hopefully I can uh, provide more content, but at this time it's getting to the point where um, I'm going to have to make a little extra money to, uh, to keep this project going. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.